Well, recent cases of police mishandling demonstrating crowds have raised concerns about the police recruitment process as well as their professional conduct. My colleague Judith Awatritando reports. The last eight months and over have been characterized by a myriad of blunders perpetrated by the Ghana Police Service. I'm referring specifically to reports of mishandling of demonstrating crowds. Now, the cases are one too many. We can recount the Ijura incident, the Nkranta incident, and several others, including that of the recent Islamic senior high school case on Monday, June 13, which saw about 30 students rush to the hospital as a result. Unfortunately, until this recent incident, Ghanaians are yet to see what definite sanctions have been meted out to serve as deterrents to police who engage in such acts. The sad reality is that families have lost their children some of their siblings, parents, and loved ones. When will this end? When will Ghanaians see a change? It is rather very unfortunate that year in, year out, virtually, consistently, crowd control always turns awry. There will be demonstrations, there will be riots. Unfortunately, most of our rioting end up with police confrontation. It's bad. The IGP has been keen to show up and show up the reputation of the police whenever their crowd handling has gone bad. And the police didn't mince words when it said in a statement that, quote, the police handling of the incident was poor and fell short of the standard operating procedures of the police force, unquote. It wasn't the first time they had been faulted for poor crowd control. The committee set up to probe their Jura case, for instance, proposed that, quote, all crowd riots or crisis control units be made to wear body cams and all vehicles and mobile gadgets employed must also have cameras, unquote. And Kranza has happened since, and the scenes at the Islamic Senior High School has only added to a growing mistrust of the service. I think the police are not being professional enough now at this because I believe they've been trained very well to execute their responsibilities. They, in a way, to protect us are rather putting us in a very difficult manner. Police are not patient enough. They are abusing their power. So how exactly can the police be fixed? Recrafting their training methodologies and whatnot is also important. What kind of people are we recruiting into the, uh, the police service or and any other services? What kind of training are we giving them? Because crowd control, crowd dispersal, and crisis management is a science. You need to learn it. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News, Accra.